Hi guys, welcome to another video. Currently, I out here for viewings, and it has been raining for a few days. So today is actually a sunny day, and most of the activities have been resumed after phase two. But it doesn't mean it's safe yet, because the COVID nineteen is still around. So please stay conscious and keep a safe distancing as always, and remember to wear a mask whenever you are outdoor. So today, I actually brought one with me as well. So this could be a new norm for our new ways of living with the virus. So today we talk about is property linked to stocks, because I have a customer told me that the stock market is actually linked to property market, and say these are the two biggest investment, and are depend on how people take the risk. So whenever the stock market crash, the property will crash as well, because of the linkage. And I can really understand where her concern is coming from, especially planning to buy a property during now, when many people are actually worried about the months ahead and the uncertainty which we had talked about in my previous video. But at the same time, it is also normal for home buyers who are trying to time the market by waiting to save up a bit. To buy their property when the price drop, this approach is to wait to buy. But the thing is, doesn't mean you will save a lot more by waiting to buy. Because if we go into the figures and understand about real estate cycles, you will surprise that it is more important to buy to wait. And I hope. I can cover this with more details in the next video. But now, is there really a link between property and shares? So, if we look back, the stock market in March, ah, when this COVID hit our aviation, this is something that never happened before in our history. We all knew that, but did we feel the impact? Or Is there an impact on the property market? But I certainly I do agree that both stocks and property are considered investment instruments. However, I believe stocks and property are really non-identical. Although property do have investment elements in itself, but one is actually a paper asset versus a tangible asset class. So what do I mean by that? Which means in stock, you only own part of the shares you bought, and whenever may happen to it, ah, it is always not within your control, unless you hold majority of the shares. While property is different, property is something you own physically there, and it can be a home for many people to stay, and. That is why not everybody is buying property for investment. That is the uniqueness of property itself. And once you save your money there, it is not easy to liquid. Unlike stocks, it is too easy to liquid. Therefore, it is easily fluctuate and more volatile. But for property, is different. In order to liquid a house, ah, you need to find a buyer. And it takes time. Therefore, it is really not identical between the both. And whenever we talk about stocks, it is always about speculation, and people do short selling, sell high, buy low, or other techniques to make profits. But it's nothing wrong with that. But that is why no banks will borrow you money to buy stocks. You see, because it is a risk factor. So buying a property is different. You will have the leverage. However, if you are buying a property in terms of short terms, it is called speculation, which is also a risk factor. It's equivalent with applying the techniques of buying stocks to the property, which. I think it is very risky, because for property, is for long term, not short term. 
and only when you see in long term uh, then you will be able to see beyond this COVID-19 crisis and that is after 2021, 2022 or even 2023 and beyond and that is when the vaccine is already out or the recovery already taken place and that is when you see in the long term time frame then people will see the benefit of saving in property and this is what I always try to teach about creating your saving in property so buying the correct asset is important and so are you buying a home or investment so this will come to the end of my video I hope this video will be helpful to you with a better understanding about both and if you like this video please give a thumbs up share or subscribe to my channel and comment below if you find uh, if you like to find out more about other properties issues I will do my best to answer them in the next video and I will see you soon as always stay safe and take care.